Good morning, DC. Dave, the pickup artist, with you. This beautiful Thursday morning. We've got the uh, beautiful day and the Blue Angels are flying around overhead. They're doing their uh, flyover presentation tomorrow. Looking forward to that. And next week, we hope to get back on the uh, pickup trail. Uh, this week, we're uh, participating in uh, Rod the Happy Hippies. I think he said he had 240 contact or uh, subs. And he's doing a little contest. Uh, he wants, he's got five uh, questions. Uh, first one was, shout out to a uh, local record store. I tend to shout out the Jacksonville stores a lot because there's so many up here. And we've also got a lot in St. Augustine. So I'll shout out one from St. Augustine. A lot of people go down there because it's, you know, the world's oldest city. It's a, you know, it's a tourist kind of place. But right in the main area there, there is a great record store called Tone Vendor. Uh, nice, nice location, great store, great people. They uh, participate in the Jacksonville uh, record shows, which is nice. And I always, I always pick something good up at their booths. In fact, I'm at probably at their booths, at their record shows more than I'm at their stores. But I like their stores too. Uh, so yeah, I, I could. I, it's a tough one because I can name a bunch of them. Uh, last record I got. Well. I actually uh, purchased two three weeks ago. I haven't got either of them. One was from Amazon. The other one was from Discogs. And uh, I guess it's postage, you know, of course it could be a, I don't know, any number of things. So the last one I got was The Litter, Emerge. Great record. Can't wait to get the rest of their albums. Uh, let's see, book. Um, rock related book well I like this one somebody got me this uh, great book he's got a uh, chapters you know he's got a chapter here on you know cream and uh, uh, blind faith there's a picture of uh, Clapton with Harrison George Harrison and it's a great book the only beef is uh it's not long enough. I mean, you got, there's a picture of him on the back. You got, uh, I mean, this guy's a legend. Could have been a lot longer. You get about a couple of chapters on uh, each of the bands he was in. I would like to know more about what went on behind the uh, scenes with Cream and what's the life working with Bruce and uh, Ginger Baker. I mean, those guys hated each other. I would like to could have been longer, but it was it's not a bad book. It's a good read. I mean, you'll finish it in a day, uh, but uh, enjoy it. Uh, let's see. Next, we got uh, movies. This was a tough call because uh, there's so many great uh, music films out there. I'll get, try one from out of left field. Festival Express. I love this. This was a uh, multi-day extravaganza through Canada by way of their train system. The bands that took part in it were uh, the uh, Grateful Dead, Janis Joplin, Flying Burrito Brothers, The Band, Buddy Guy, Buddy Guy Blues Band, and Sha Na Na. Um, yeah, this is a riot. We get uh, the live performances. We catch some of the live performances, but what's really cool is the uh, footage from inside of the train when they're all on their party in and everything it's very very cool uh i think the uh, the drunkest one of the bunch was probably rick danko from the band but this is a lot of fun this uh actually has a couple of uh outtakes and uh interviews with phil lesh buddy guy bob weir and uh really cool stuff curio there's about 50 years ago, sure. And uh, the last one is, uh, Rod wants us to nominate, shout out and nominate somebody. 
And I would say, I don't know if I've shouted her out, but uh, Rachel, the music ma'am, has got some great uh, videos. I always enjoy watching them. She had a really good one about uh, uh, comic book art in relation to uh, uh, album art. I love that. So I'm going to nominate her. And uh, hopefully she'll win, or maybe I'll win. But uh, hopefully in a couple of weeks we'll all win and we'll be able to get back on the road. And with that, I'll see everybody soon. Take care.